so it's not about who's, who finished first, it's about the quality <laughs> of the painting. <laughs> with me on a Sunday to show you how I typically spend a Sunday a rest day so this should be fun come to church with me um, and just spend the evening together my name is Rubina I love to make faith based videos for Christian women make sure to subscribe if you are interested in content like that and I'm excited to have you as part of the family so first things first here's how I start my morning and go to church I don't know about you but I love Sundays, they are always so relaxing and it's a great day to catch up on some things so first thing I like to take some time to myself, I usually read my bible and pray, I find that starting my day off with God helps me to stay focused on him and what's important. And so after that I get ready for the day and then we head off to church struggling on the stairs yeah. and what did you learn today divine oh. <laughs> what did you learn yeah church was really really good we learned a lot and we did high praise like it was so fun just like dancing yeah the board was good today yeah now we're just gonna go to the shop quickly get a couple of things and let's have a chill Sunday. Right now, right now I'm just gonna fix some lunch um, so we can eat. But yeah, church was so good. Um, so I'll show you guys something that I learned today at church. It has a script for each and every one of our lives. And just as Jesus' life, everything that he did, his birth, his life, and his death, everything was pre-written, everything was literally prophecy fulfilled. And that's the same thing for us as well, that God has already written something in his plan for each and every one of us so even if um if god has told you something if god has promised you something and your life right now is not looking like that he's still working he's still working behind the scenes like god is still in control um another thing that he emphasized on today was the fact that we are image bearers for christ and that for our lives other people will come to know god because we are literally his ambassadors that we are we are his representatives on earth so our character our conduct the things that we do either point people to God or they or it wouldn't point people to God and so he encouraged us to be good ambassadors for Christ and that's something that convicted me as well hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far make sure to subscribe and comment down below how you spend your Sundays and how it is going for you so I also spend this weekend doing some art with my sister she is the artist of the family and this was just Honestly, a form of self-care. I wasn't expecting it to be the best art in the world, but it was so relaxing and fun to do this with her. And I would encourage you as well, use Sunday as a day to get creative, paint, write, bake something. Yeah. I tend to do an orange painting with the sun, but I don't know if you can see, there's some trees at the bottom. And <laughs> You'll find this to be good for your soul. Do you guys tell us who you think won this? Because <laughs> So I want to encourage you to don't forget to take some time to relax and recharge. Use some of your time for self-care, whether that means going on a walk, taking a nap or reading a book. Do something that you enjoy and makes you happy. I'm currently reading this book called The Pathway to Purpose by Katie Brazelton. I'll put a link down for it below. And so far, I am loving it. When I saw the title, I knew that this is something that I need to read. And yes, 10 out of 10. Well, so far, it's 10 out of 10. I would recommend it to you guys as well. So I spent some of the evening editing a video for the channel. I'm always trying to improve my skills. And then I decided to plan the week ahead. Use Sunday to plan your week ahead. This will help you to make the most of your time and be more creative when you like to schedule things out. Of course, there are times when there will be some more spontaneous things that happen in the week, but this has helped me to be organized. I hope, I hope that actually stays. That she stays on. Hi guys, welcome, welcome. So I'm just thought I'll just come chill in the car and chat with you guys a little bit. And if you don't already go to a church, I would highly recommend being part of a church, being being part of the body of Christ that way. So so um 
it's so powerful the bible tells us not to forsake the gathering of the brethren so yeah that's really really important like having community is so good um but anyway like i know that community godly community is so good in our walk with god that's the same thing that i want to build by the grace of god um with abide in him like having a community of women online um you know who love god who want to grow in their walk with god who can you know just be encouraging towards one another in the comments and things like that like i really want to interact with you guys way more like way more so like that's why i usually encourage you guys to comment on the videos and things like that like this I want this to be like a safe place, uh, just a place where you know you guys could come and be encouraged and be edified and also like spur one another on in your walk with God. Like I think that's so so beautiful because uh we're not meant to do this walk on our own and I think that women supporting one another is so powerful. So yeah, speaking of that, I recently watched something that reminded me of the um, you know, God has given each and every one of us um something to steward. Um I actually do have a Bible study on that and on being faithful with what God has given us to steward and you know this abiding him is something that God has given me to steward and obviously it's been such a journey there's been so much growth through me doing this and through me um, you know serving in this way and it's um, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade for anything else like I'm super passionate about this and passionate about you guys as well and so i wanted to say that thank you so much for like all your support so far on the channel like it's been it's been encouraging as well like thank you for 400 subscribers like that is i praise god for that like i remember this time last year i was at like probably around like 40 30 subscribers and even then though of course as human i did have like the moments where i was discouraged generally about the channel but all in all <laughs> but all in all i still made videos like I had an audience of one basically like each one of you is super super important to me like I don't do this for the numbers I do this for God and I'm um, with a passion and with a heart for women so like I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that watch the videos that and I don't just make the videos for making it safe like my prayer is actually that it would you know impact people that it would actually bring transformation you know through the word of god in your lives like that is what i want to see that is what i know that god is doing in some of your lives as well and for that i'm super grateful